Sorry, the, the front door was unlocked. Oh, hi. I clearly need to fire our head of security. I've made some coffee. Everything OK? Yeah, fine. Just um, have some news. <clears throat> I'll leave you to her. So you OK? Uh, you're looking tired. Oh, thanks. I'm just still not sleeping properly. You know. Yeah, well, menopause will do that to you. Maybe I can treat you to a massage and facial sometime. You know, for helping out with you-know-who. Um, Jamie's coming for an interview this afternoon. Oh, now that is good news. Thank you. I can't quite believe I'm finally going to see my son again after all these years. Were you going to tell me about Jamie's interview today? <sighs> I'm assuming your friendship with Rona's paid off, then. Oh, don't be so cynical. I genuinely like her. And please, spare me another lecture on how I'm trying too hard. I worry about you because, um, all joking aside, you're impulsive and that gets you into trouble. I can't give up on him. It's the most important thing in my life. When I was locked away, the worst part was being separated from him. Every day I hoped for a letter or a request to visit. But nothing. I need to know why he's turned his back on me completely, why he, why he hates me so much. You're going about this the wrong way. You know what he's like. I'm only looking out for you because I don't want to see you get hurt. I have to do this. I want my son home where he belongs. Oh, hi. Uh... Sorry, I thought I was doing the interviews on my own today. No, no, you might have arranged all this, but it's me and Vanessa that do the hiring. Of course, yeah, I just know that you're busy. Actually, uh, there is one more application that I wanted to talk to you both about privately. So, no, wait, j before you read that, can I just explain? Please tell me this is some weird coincidence. James Francis Tate. So this whole job was only created to bring Kim's son back into the village. That's unbelievable. As I was trying Have to explain... Have you ever listened to a single word I've said? You are not a partner. This is not your pay grade. You've really crossed the line today. Trying to bring another Tate on board. We have put up with you going over our heads constantly because we wanted to be supportive. And then you go and pull a stunt like this. I tried to run this past both of you yesterday, but you started kicking off about Kim interfering. Yeah, and now she's trying to do it all again. Only this time she's got you to do all the dirty work. It's the only reason she bought into this place. She had this planned all along. You know, I bet that woman doesn't even blink without an ulterior motive. This is exactly the reason why we didn't want her to invest. And you knew about it. Where's your loyalty? Well, clearly not with us. Rhoda, why did you agree to do this for her? Because underneath all of this is a mother who is desperate to bring home her son. So you felt sorry for her. You do realise that there is bound to be a very good reason why they're estranged. Yes, because she went to prison. Just like your father did, Vanessa. Look at you two now. That's different. Do you know, Jamie could be an asset to us, just like him. We would have gone under if it wasn't for her cash injection and all those new clients she's brought in. No, you too. You wouldn't have a business anymore if it wasn't for her. <sighs> oh, face it, Paddy. We might as well send all these other candidates home because this is a done deal. <sighs> Give it up now. It's not coming. Well, maybe his train's delayed or he's hit traffic or something. He'd have run. He's blown you out. No, he probably saw where the surgery was and realised his mum was behind it. And you could be the one to break the news. And I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely cock-a-hoop. Yeah, me too. If it's anything like his mum, I reckon we've had a lucky escape. Well, I'm glad someone's pleased. Because this is going to devastate Kim. Oh, it's OK, he knows everything. So, uh, how was Jamie? How did he look? Is he OK? 
Kim, I'm so sorry. Jamie didn't turn up. I see. What did he say? Nothing. He, he didn't ring, he didn't leave a message. Oh. It's not your fault. You tried. Thank you. I'm so sorry that this didn't work out. I can stay if you want me to. Right, well, I'll be on the other end of the phone if you need me. You were right. Jamie hates me. That isn't going to change. You'd have only caused you more heartache. I hope you, um, come to see that in time. Anyway, I'm sorry. Look, I'm very interested in the session, so if you'd still like to see me, I can come by tomorrow. 